Hey there, Fletch from All Things Overlanding here. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about my new Gobeji uh, air compressor. This thing puts out a ton of air. It's really inexpensive and very comparable to like uh, an ARB or any of those type of things from a airflow standpoint. Um, the reason that I had to upgrade my air compressors, I was running a Vire 88P before, which was a great compressor, but I'm on 35 inch tires now and it was just taking too long to air up the tires. So I wanted to get something with a lot more output, so that's why I picked this up. Um, so again, today I'm gonna talk you through kind of the features of it. I'm gonna talk about how much air it flows and I'm gonna air down my tires and we're gonna do a time test to see how long it takes to air up a 35 from say 15 pounds to 35 pounds. So if you wanna see more on this compressor, you wanna see everything that it comes with here, all the features and then see it air up a 35 inch tire, stay tuned. Again, I got it sitting on my tailgate here. I'm just gonna walk you through it quick and kind of show you all the features, show you the form factor of this thing. It is a good sized compressor. So you can see it compared to my deck system back there. It's pretty big. I mean, it's not the smallest compressor. My Vire 88P for comparison is, is significantly smaller, maybe about half the length and, and height of this thing. However, this thing moves like four times as much air as my, my old Vire did. So that's why I picked it up, right? Um, the nice thing is they've got this big handle here that's super easy to grip. This is where you attach your air hose and it does have like a quick disconnect, which is really nice. All right, so yeah, as you can see, this thing you have to literally screw it onto each tire as you go around the vehicle. So that's gonna be a huge pain and not something I wanna deal with. So I learned about these things when I had my Vire 88P. Basically, I'll put a link in the description below, but these things are amazing. Basically what it does is it will screw into the end of this and then it's got a quick release chuck built right into the end so within a second you can have this thing attached to a tire and be airing up um, and then you know within a second pull it back off and move it to the next tire and you're good to go so again i'll put a link to this thing it's like seven bucks it's very inexpensive it's an awesome modification i'm going to do this to every single air compressor i get for the rest of my life because this thing is a game changer so i like that thing again link in the description below but so it does come with these big alligator clips what i'm going to do with mine actually is i'm planning to hide it down in the deck box here on the side and maybe put some sort of a manifold up here. I'd like to get one of those four tire air systems um, that has the manifold. So basically I keep my, my air hoses somewhere else and then when I need them, I pull those out, plug them into a manifold you know, that I mount on the side of the bed there and then the air compressor's in there and I can just flip a switch to turn it on and have it sort of permanently wired into my Red Arc system. So that's my plan. But you could also really easily just use these alligator clips, attach it to your battery, and go. Another thing, if you aren't super familiar with these type of air compressors that run off of a 12 volt battery, you're gonna wanna have your vehicle running. Um, again, if you're a brand new person, this is your first air compressor that you're looking at, it does suck a fair amount of power. So one, you're gonna have a, a loss of power. It's not gonna be nearly as powerful, not gonna be putting out as much air if you're just trying to run it off the battery. It'll do better when the truck is on. And then two, you also don't wanna kill your battery while you're out in the middle of nowhere, right? So run your truck while you're running the air compressor. That is your best bet, just a tip. Um, also, the, what comes with this, you do get a number of little attachments. So, you know, in addition to the main one for your tires, you also get these for like airing up air mattresses, bike tires, basketballs, that sort of thing. So that comes with it, just in case you need that. Um, also built into this thing on the air hose, which is really long. I'll put the, the length up here on the screen, but it does have a built-in uh, pressure gauge, which is pretty nice. Now we'll see how accurate that is when we start airing up the tires here in a little bit. And then of course it does come with a nice little bag. Nothing fancy, nothing, you know, super nice, but something to throw it into if it gets dirty. Once you set it on the ground, it gives you a place to put it so that you can store it. So again, if you weren't mounting it permanently in like a deck box or something like that, you can just throw it in this bag and throw it in your back seat or in the bed of your truck and be good to go. Got handles on both sides, so it's pretty easy to carry. It is fairly heavy. Uh, I'll put the weight up here on the, the screen of the unit too. It is heavy, which to me means good quality, right? Like that makes me feel better that it's that it's fairly heavy. Um, you got your on off switch right up here on the top and you've also got a built in circuit breaker. So that's kind of nice if you do, you know, overpower it, it's just gonna kick the circuit breaker. You can reset that, turn it back on and you're good to go. Um, so other than that, that is the basics of this unit. So again, the whole idea of this thing being portable, being able to take it out of the bag, throw it on the ground, air up your tires with the fast flow rate it should be relatively quick even for these big 35 inch tires um i guess we're gonna see right it's just super easy to use so let's get it all hooked up here and then i've got the truck running 
So we should have full battery power. And we're gonna air down this tire up here and then we're gonna air it back up and see how long it takes. All right, so just to give you an idea of how easy this thing makes it, let me show you. So again, before you would have had to do basically the opposite of what I just did to unscrew that cap. With this, you just pinch it and put it on there and you're ready to go, that's it. So one good thing to note just from the get-go is that this does seem to be accurate. This is showing about 35 pounds of pressure right now, which is about what I aired them up to the last time I aired them up. So another cool thing is on the back, it's got a release, it's got a valve release. So I can use that to let the air out. Now I'm not sure how long that's gonna take. That may have to just, you know, blow the valve, but. Another cool thing about this quick release chuck is that it also has a an air release. So I'm gonna run both air releases at the same time to try and get the air out of them as fast as possible and bring it down to 15 pounds. All right guys, so it is down to 15. Took a little bit to get the air out of there. I wouldn't recommend using this method if you're actually airing down because it did take a while, even with both valves open. So again, I'm gonna start a timer and we are gonna start airing this back up and we're gonna see how long it takes to get to 35 pounds. I'm gonna try and stop it as little as possible so that I don't make it take longer, but I am gonna need to stop it because you know, almost all of these, they obviously are not showing the pressure that's in the tire when air is flowing through them. So in order to check the pressure, I'm gonna have to stop the compressor to see what it's actually at. I can visibly see the tire getting taller though. I mean, I can tell it's taking air pretty quick. I'm gonna let it go about a minute and a half and then I'll shut it off and we'll see what it's at. All right, that's a minute and a half. And we are at about 30, just a little bit. All right, there's two and a half minutes and we are at 34, 35. So two and a half minutes to go from 15 to 35 is not too bad. All right guys, so that was the Gobeji uh, 5.65 CFM air compressor. Again, for $150, like, I mean, if this thing works for a couple of years, I'm, I'm fine with that. I got my money's worth, you know? Like these things, historically, air compressors have kind of scared me away. That's why I had a Vi Air 88P. I think I bought it for 50 or 60 bucks, like three years ago. It's been great airing up 31s and 33s, but again, with the 35s, it's just gonna take seven, eight minutes per tire to air it up. And as you saw with this, I mean, two and a half minutes, maybe even a little bit less to get from 15 to 35, pretty quick. Like, I'm fine with that, you know? So I'm, I'm super excited about it. Again, I think I'm gonna try and mount it down in my deck system, kind of hardwired in with a switch and a, a manifold so that I can split it out to all the tires without having to move it around. But it's also nice that it's portable. If that's what you're looking for, you know, I've for the whole time that I've been overlanding, I've just used it portable, used my air compressors portably and taken them out of the vehicle and moved them around. Um, the hose is pretty long again, so it's gonna give you plenty of room. You may have to move it from one side of the vehicle to the other to make sure you're reaching all the tires, but that's about it. Um, so overall, super, super impressed for it. I think it's a great buy for the value price that it is. And, uh, I like it. So again, I hope that's helpful for you. If you are new to the channel, make sure to click that like button down below if you got value out of the video. Make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when new videos drop. I do a couple videos a week. I do like a podcast slash vlog style talking about overlanding stuff in general. And then I do something like a do-it-yourself mod, um, ideas for custom modifications for vehicles and gear reviews every week. So again, subscribe for more of that content. Um, also down in the description below are links to all my featured partners. Uh, awesome companies with awesome stuff, awesome gear to check out. So if you're looking for gear, they're definitely a good place to start. There's also links to Facebook, Instagram. I have a Patreon page where we have a Discord and we all kind of chat in that. Um, so if you want to join that, I'd love to have you there as well. And then there's a, a Facebook group called Newbie Overlanders that is for newbie overlanders and experienced overlanders. If you're experienced, you want to come help the newbies. The main thing is to get away from the larger groups that are a little bit negative, right? And have kind of a positive environment where people can come and learn. Um, so again, I'd love to have you in that group as well. So thanks again for watching. Post up in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions. Also, if you guys use a similar compressor or something different, I'd love to hear from you and your opinions on that as well. Um, so post up down below and let me know what you think. Again, click that like button if you got value out of the video and we will see you guys next week.